All right, everybody, good morning. Tony from Tony's Toyota Tundra Channel with a new adventure today. Check this out. Of course, we have our 20, 2020 Tundra double cab. And here's, here's the adventure part. We move over, and here's our new, our new fun. 28-foot grand design. Imagine 28-foot bunkhouse. It's a 2800 BH. But from trailer to from nose to tail on the trailer, it's 32 feet, 31 feet. We are using the recurve six weight distribution hitch. We are under all weight restrictions. We're good. Tundra has low. I don't like the squat. Take a look at that. That bothers me. She's definitely squatting even with the weight distribution hitch. We are under the weight as far as the payload capacity. We're good there. And we're also under the weight on this one, but we're at about 70% weight, and it, she is empty. Not a drop of water in it, no luggage, nothing. So we'll, it's, uh, it's going to be, we're going to see. We're going to see the next, the, the Tundra story. Will she pull it? I know it'll pull it. Will it stop it? I, see, hope, I certainly hope so. All looks good. Everything's within the numbers. We're going to do something on the squat, and I am a little leery, to be honest with you, a little leery about... Am I going to be able to keep the Tundra because, or am I going to have to move up to a three-quarter ton truck to haul this big? Because it's a big camper, and if I put my quad in the back, I'm going to be overweight, and I bought it to put my quad in the back. I had the other camper at the time, which you've seen pictures of uh, and video of, but uh, this is obviously the new one. The wife likes a nice, cushier one, and this is, this is sweet. Two air conditioning units is gorgeous. I'll give you a tour later on. But we are in Prescott, Arizona, where we purchased it, and we're going to head down the hill now and get some video and hope for the best okay until then Tony from Toyota Tony from Tony's Toyota Tundra channel and we are gonna sign off for the moment and get back to you in a little bit all right hey Tony once again we are towing our about 6500 some say it's 67 some say it's 63 empty 100 pound uh, um, Grand Design. It's brand new 21, 2021 Grand Design 28 bunkhouse. And my wife is holding the camera, and so that's why she's shaking all over the place. And uh, show the camper best you can. Try and angle it best you can. So we are in Prescott Valley. We are headed to coming down to the, uh, the Phoenix area, and we're just cruising the speed limit 55. Toyota Tundra is pulling well. It's towing good. Okay. You can no cinematography whatsoever. Okay, so uh, we are 79 miles from the Phoenix area, and we are through Phoenix to the back. We're about 90 miles or so. Um, this will be our first tow with this, something this big. The Tundra seems to be doing okay. It is squatting a little much, and we're going to work on that. Maybe adjust the, uh, the weight distribution hitch and possibly airbags. I'm not sure. I'm going to talk to my hitch guy. He's really good, and we'll go from there. But as of now... Things are looking up, things are doing well. We're keeping our fingers crossed. It has no, it pulls fine. It feels good behind the camper. I mean, behind the truck. Toyota's got lots of power. I am in tow haul mode and in uh, regular gear. I'm not in, I didn't drop the gears yet. When we start going down the hills, I'll lower the gears. I'll bring it down and let the engine try and do some engine braking. And also manual braking on the electronic speed controller, right? our electronic bake and brake controller. And my foot. So I've got everything dialed in and I'm feeling good about the ride home. But it is the first time for me pulling something this big. However, I have been pulling trailers for 30 years, so we'll see how it goes. I'm feeling good about it. Okay, that's it for now. We'll update you uh, down the road. Talk to you later. Okay, we're about ready to start leg number two, which is down the hill. We're at Cordes Junction. And once we get past Sunset Point, which is about 10, 12 miles away. Then we go to the steep part of going down. And that's the part that I'm a little concerned about, but feeling good about it. So that's where we're at as of now. Okay, there she is, 2020 Tundra Double Cab. She is gorgeous, but look at this. We are down the hill. We came down we went from uh, just around 6,000 feet down to Phoenix area is about 1,100 feet. So we're down in Greater Phoenix. Wife did a little, let's do a little Pick up a couple things at Fry's here, so I'm just killing a little time in the parking lot. And this is the Grand Design Imagine 2800, 2800 Bunkhouse BH. 
quick tour here. We're using the recurve weight distribution hitch, the weak recurve six, which is a pretty heavy duty, and it's very quiet. Unlike my equalizer, it was horrible. I mean, it just sounded horrible. It was it worked great. No issues with the equalizer. You, you like equalizer? Sorry about that. Like equalizer, I say get all you want. Recurve is it doesn't make that noise because it doesn't use friction. It's a different type system, but it works good. But there it is. We are definitely squatting a little bit on this tundra. But uh, we're going to work on that. I have a hitch guy that does very good work. I'm going to talk to him and see what can be done about it. There it is. 2800BH, bunk house, grand design. Just imagine. That's the old Barney, which goes way back. Uh, yeah, she's done really well. Again, look at that squat. Okay, so I'm not happy about it. It wasn't out, it was not unexpected, but I got to say the truck pulled great. Now, granted, we came downhill, but it braked really good. That was my biggest fear. The biggest fear was, yeah, you, the, the motor's awesome. 5.7 liter V8, that, that I-Force is no issues. It pulls fabulous, but can you stop it? And I got to say it did good. I, I'm still kind of leaning towards having to get a, a three-quarter ton because of the, pay, the payload. The payload on this truck is 1,300 pounds, a little over. Something like that, or whatever it is, and you know, you, you, you can't. There's not much left to put in the truck, so you can load. You can load stuff in the camper, but I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna feel it out. I gotta say, it, it handled really well. The truck pulled it. I, there was a couple times I got passed by a cop with his red lights on, blew by me, and probably he was probably going 80 or 90. And that, that rocked the camper a little bit. That's my first, I felt that one. That caught me off guard. The 18-wheelers that passed me went, went by me relatively slow. So that I didn't feel that there was no, no issues there. There's the back of her. The roof is fully walkable for lighter people than me. Actually, I can get up there, but I don't trust that ladder. One single slide out. I'll do a, I'll do a whole tour on this thing later on, but there it is. So... All impressed so far. Well, next, next step here, we're in North Phoenix. We're heading to Chandler. We've got another 30 miles to go through town here, back to the house. 25 miles, something like that. But while the wife's busy doing a little quick shopping, I thought I would just give a little quick tour and talk about that Tundra, because I'm impressed. I am impressed. I bought, incidentally, and I, I was going to do a mirror um, video, which I did not do. I've been busy. But these are my, I bought tow mirrors for it, and they extend out. As you can see, they're extended out now. Uh, $309 off of Amazon. They are not a, to, a Toyota product. The Toyota ones, which you can buy, they're like $600 or $590 or $580, something like that. I thought that's a little ridiculous. A friend of mine, Rich, and his son, Ricky, Ricky got these for his, and he sent me the link. And I have no issues. I like them a lot. They do good. So there's my Tundra mirror update. Uh, you can find those on Amazon under, you know, tow mirrors. But they, Rich put them in in just a matter of, ah, 15 minutes per door, if that. So, do one more quick backup look at the whole thing. And there it is, two air conditioners. I mean, she's a beast. It's a big... It's a big rig. Uh, two air conditioners, got a nice tele a television antenna, television inside. It's a, it's a nice, grand design is a very good camper. There are better ones that are more expensive, but this one's very good, so we like it a lot. Well, that's why we invested in it. And that's it. All right. For now, until we get home, give you the final update when we get to the house. Tony, signing off for now. Okay, home sweet home. Back from... Prescott, Arizona to Chandler, Arizona. There she is. Once again, proud of the Tundra. She did really well. Of course, we're again, we we're coming downhill. We went from about 6,200 feet down to 1,100 feet, which is the valley altitude. And so, uh, but coming down, I tell you, she braked just fine. Never let it get above 65, on the, even on those 6% grades. And we came home early before traffic. That was a plan to do that. So it was a pretty well thought out. Uh, but she ran terrific. The truck did fantastic, and the new camper's really cool.